There are loads of rare skill mechanics in MLBB that we didn't notice even if we have been playing the game for a long time. There are also some which gives us an unfair advantage and feel like using a hack. Watch this video to find out more. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will see some rare mechanics of MLBB and also test the range of skills of some MLBB heroes. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. First, we have a trick with Guinevere passive. Watch this. As you can see that I was able to deal damage to Zilong without even hitting him. To perform this, you need to turn on your attack assist. Make your rage bar full and use your skill too, but note the second phase. Make sure the enemy is lined up in a straight line with the side you are gonna dash. Just stay out of range from your passive to let the attack assist trigger and when it's about to jump, use the second phase of your skill too. And it's done just like that. Next we have Lapu Lapu. We all know that we can stun enemies with Lapu enhanced skill 1. And we can also increase the range by using flicker. I don't know whether this will be considered a bug or it is normal, but watch this. As you can see, I wasn't able to stun the Zilong if I flick backwards. I tried multiple times, but the results remain the same. If I flick towards the front, I can stun easily. Lapu users do comment down below if this is normal or a bug. Next will be the Kagura flicker trick. This one is easy to do but needs good timing. Watch this. Okay, this looks cool. Let me now show you how it's done. Use a skill 1 anywhere you want to, use ultimate and then target it to the side you want to drag the enemies. Before the ultimate animation ends, use flick towards the enemies and tap your skill 2 and boom, it's done. But this needs a good timing. Next we have Argus skill 1. This is fun for Argus but not for Henzo. Watch this. When you kill the demon's body of Hanzo with Argus skill 1 phase 1, you will be able to reach Hanzo main body like a teleportation. Here is from Hanzo POV. Does it have a range limit? Yes, I tried from this range at first, but Argus wasn't able to reach me. This will be an interesting way to kill Hanzo if you did this in a real match. Next will be a trick with the surrender option. I know you guys are all fast hand and tap very fast. And sometimes mistakenly you tap the refuse option and doesn't surrender a match that's supposed to be invalid. In case you did this you can go to your setting again and tap surrender and you will be able to surrender just like this. If you are looking for 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki Official Store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100k MLBB players from India, Philippines and Europe to visit our website and browse between various packs. Next we have Johead and Luoyi. When Luoyi ults, activate Johead skill 2 and throw her out of the ultimate range when the teleportation of the Luoyi's ult activate. 
and you will be able to throw her or your teammate at the same place just like this. Here is Luoyi's POV. Let's now see the skill range of some heroes. First, we have higher skill to shadows. Whoa, what was that? Does it have a range limit? Let's see. When she used arrival from here to their base, I wasn't able to use the skill 2 on her. I guess it has a limit. Let's try once more from one side to the other side of the map. I guess the range is too much for higher. But from mid lane to their base, he can teleport in his shadows easily and can also come back again at ease. Next we have Roger Wolf form skill 1. First let's try from the second turret. As you can see that I timed it perfectly but I wasn't able to jump towards him. Let's try reducing the range. and it was successful this time. Let's try once more. And we did it again. Here is Jilong's POV in case you are curious. Next, we have Amon's ultimate. From mid lane to enemy's base was easily done. Let's try increasing the range. Do not go gentle into that good night. It was able to hit Carmilla, but the animation wasn't perfect. Let's try once more. The animation is fine from my POV, but we don't see much from Carmilla POV. Then it is decided that Amon's ultimate has no range limit. Up next, we have Harley's ultimate. Let's try out from mid lane. and Harley's ultimate was able to hit easily. Let's try increasing the range. I never thought he will be able to do it. Then I guess it has no range limit. Let's try with Mathilda's ultimate too. We will first try it from mid lane till the second turret. and I wasn't able to do it. Let's reduce the range. And I was able to do this time. Let's try once more. It was successful again. Here is Diggy's POV. Next will be Carmilla's skill 2 phase 2. We could see the animation but the stun effect wasn't able to reach. Let's try in the inhibitor turret. This time it was able to hit. Let's try increasing the range.
and this time we couldn't even see the animation. Let's move on to our next and that is Cyclops Ultimate. Let's first try from mid to enemy base. The same thing happened again like Carmilla's where I was able to see the animation effect but note the CC effect. Let's reduce the range a bit. And it was successful this time. Let's try from both lane to top. And this time we didn't even see the animation effect. Next we have Karina's ultimate. Let's try in the inhibitor. I timed it perfectly but no sign of chasing Harley. Let's reduce the range a little bit. And the same thing happened again. I guess her ultimate will only jump towards enemies that are nearby. Let's just move on our next and that is Diggy's skill too. Let's see how far can it trigger the pull effect. We will first try from the second turret. I guess that's too far for Diggy. Let's reduce the range. This time it worked. Let's try one more time. And we were able to pull back again. However, it has a range limit. Up next, we have Zilong's skill too. I timed it right but didn't chase. Let me reduce the range. Was able to jump towards a little bit but not much. I was expecting more from Jelong. And on to our last, we have Layla's skill too. It was able to hit me. Let's increase the range. And it was not able to reach me this time. I guess the range has a limit. So what do you guys think of these skill mechanics? If you have any rare mechanic, make sure to comment down below so that we can use it in our future video. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.